um, a long time ago. I think it was 1978. It's kind of a ridiculous story. I had a boyfriend. We broke up. I was sad and some friends asked me to uh, go to a local church to do pottery with them and I totally fell, fell, fell in love with clay as a material. I handled for the first three years um, and then I, I started on the potter's wheel. The Tucson Clay Co-op started as the Muse Pottery in the year 2000. And then I think about five years later, we, we became the Tucson Clay Co-op. We've been in this particular location for 12 years. We give classes in hand building, wheel, and sculpture to kids and to adults. And we have beginner classes and intermediate classes. We also have outdoor members here and we have indoor members at our 23rd Street location. You work with wet clay, and then the wet clay becomes leather hard, which means all the water that can leave the clay through evaporation leaves it. That stage, you can only trim or carve the pot. Then it becomes bone dry, pretty much a bone dry. You can't, um, you can't do anything with it except maybe sand it. When it's bone dry is when you put it in the kiln to be fired for the bisque firing. That's the first firing. It's a low temperature firing and that goes to 1,850 degrees Fahrenheit. Then you glaze the piece. Glaze is a form of modified glass. And then our, we fire to cone six and um, that's 2,180 degrees Fahrenheit building and there's the wheel and for the beginner wheel students pretty much we have them do good wedging good centering good cylinders you know and and, and, until, and, and then maybe we jazz it up but it, I'll put it this way if it was up to me they would only center for the first year this is America I would be out of business <laughs> but we really teach the I teach the wheel as a discipline we have six different wheel teachers here so we all have different tricks and we all have different styles